Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! When we last left off, Yusudu died. That was kinda sad. We also got some new equipment out of it. I should actually take a look at it. It's called Dragon's Hope. That is an awesome sounding weapon. Amadeus only enables three consecutive attacks when attack is chosen. Bonus of 700 HP and 20 defense. Not as much of a health bonus as this. Actually, not as strong either, but it, it's multiple times, so it's probably better. Meanwhile, Septimus also got a new thing here. Secretly, Drake's Love enables three consecutive attacks a turn when attack is chosen, extra 20 defense and 500 HP, so basically the same thing as what Amadeus has. Also, in between episodes, I have went and gotten some things. I went and got myself plenty of festival clips so that anybody new comes along that joins my team, I will have them a thing that they can use to confuse people. And I also bought some extra fedoras because those are some good items. Alright, let us progress to who knows where. Well, actually, first things first, the concept of an underwater tower, I definitely like that. Certainly something to think that there are 20 floors of tower beneath the ocean. Hmm, you know what actually would have been really neat is if at various points we were able to see through a window out into the ocean and like saw some fish swimming by. Anyway, time for progress. Yo, Amadeus, got a sec? Yeah. What's up, Septimus? I think it is time that I start spilling beans. Starting with the fact that Karis isn't dead. Yeah, I know. To totally serious. He is currently staying in Tokodori Village, where we are heading to anyway. He somehow escaped during my last battle with him. Speaking of which, that package? Yeah, it has the recipe needed to create the vaccine to the Garusha virus that started this tower in the first place. And we've been holding on to it this entire... How long has this been down here that we haven't... Whatever. So wait, this pack. So this package, mm hmm, is the key to reviving what is left of mankind from the apocalypse. Mm hmm. And the tower is not. Bingo, you dang nerd. Also, old man Allen, you you know the data disc author, wanted me to give you this. Ah, there's the last one. Another disc, this one covered in dust and rust. Is it even readable in that state? Go on, nerd. Play the darn thing already. Right. Amadeus, if you are listening to this recording, you finally made your way through the tower. Sadly, many of the tower's original denizens fell in battle with the Marduxian assassins. It is very likely that everyone you've met along the way were the offsprings of the original denizens you once knew in the past, my boy. Please be kind to Loomis and Umbra. They mean no harm. As operatives number 83 and 84, Setsu Tower is their responsibility once you depart to deliver the vaccine recipe. Good luck. And so Septimus, if you found this and gave it to Amadeus, it does my heart good to see you are finally on the right path in life now. I speak for all the original denizens when I say we forgive you. Please, see to it that not only does Amadeus complete his delivery, but please serve to him as the older brother he never had. I originally wrote the other 26 data disks as a log of important events, but I am glad they helped restore the memories you lost while in stasis, Amadeus. My last words to you, Amadeus. May you continue to grow smarter, faster, 
and stronger as you travel down the path of life as you see fit. Take a drink real quick, actually. And to you, Septimus, anger got the better of everyone. You were never a quote-unquote failed clone. At least have a second chance to make things right. Most importantly, I loved you both, and Karis like my own children. My only regret is never knowing what became of my only born son, Brooklyn Chakrarius. I just hope he turns out alright. How did you speak in orange? This is Dr. Alan Chakrarius signing out one last time. With the resolve rekindled after listening to the last disc, Amadeus and Septimus set sail for Tokadori Village aboard the SS Gorhan. You know, I will say, by the way, Septimus uh, being a good guy feels like it came out of nowhere. It was like no build-up whatsoever. He was a jerk the whole time, except in the library, and then he's joined us because he cares for Yusudu. Apparently. I am on a boat. I am stealing their stuff. I think this is the captain's gold storage. I hope you aren't planning on taking any of his gold. Otherwise, you'd be a cold, cruel soul. You took the 999,999 gold from the captain's chest. Are you proud of yourself? That's an achievement, too. I was going to reload my save after grabbing this, but... I, I kind of want the achievement. Oh, Jay the Duelist says, I plan on covering more of that kind of plot hole in the sequel. No, Ronnie then. No, 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 I didn't actually want you going up there. I was actually trying to go over here. I'm gonna spend the captain's money. What? You got nothing better to do with your time? Make it quick. I wanna get my back to my nap. This is certainly a powerful weapon. I think I'm just going to keep both of what I have, though. Uh, anything else of interest? Aggro ring, nah. Hunting armor? Another one? Alright. In fact, just in case. And that'll do. Come again, or whatever. Not that I care. Okay. Aggro ring is possibly something I want? What do you have? Aggro ring as well. Alright. We'll buy a couple of those then. A ring that makes its wearer as strong as a furious god. Hmm. The extra crit rate would certainly be nice. How's that compare to the original? That's magic. So, double before. Oh wait, four times the attack boost and twice the crit rate. Okay. Oh, and I had a spare on hand. 
I must not have been paying attention to it. Or I wound up ignoring it because I thought it was on the same slot as the festival clip. Now I know better. Alright, what about you? What? You got nothing better to do with your time? Make it quick. You, are you, you two have the same dialogue. And nothing of interest otherwise. Now I want to go up here. I'm king of the world! I had to. You know, for as much effort as the underground was given, this is not a very impressive looking boat. Are you ready to depart? You mean we haven't already? By the way, I totally did not buy, uh, steal your gold and then spend it on your own shops. Right. Land ho! Aye, good luck on your journey, my young friends. Young? Mia and Amadeus are almost in our 60s. Did your character portrait... No, wait a sec. We got... Different use of character portraits. Huh. I... I could have swore you'd both be in your 20s. Father Time must have blessed ye kindly beyond recognition. Ah, well. Good luck, my friends. Take care. Here we are in Tokodori Village. Does not seem that we can go in any of these houses. Another shop. What you got? Um. Emperor Hellblade, and then there's the Heaven Breaker. Wonder who that goes for. Don't know, it's expensive, I'll ignore it for the time being. Armor Bingo Plus Plus. Nah, I'll keep the other thing for the higher crit rate. In? Okay, I'll go ahead and in. 500 gold? Sure. Mm. Let's not go that way, actually. There's a house there. There's a place here. Who are we delivering this package to? Possibly that person, or possibly whoever lives in the house up here. Well, the guards are preventing us from making forward progress. Forward progress. Uh. I'm guessing not delivering it here. Look, um, what drinks can I get for you lads? I don't know, what you got? Uh, I want to drink a book. Alright, this is probably the place of importance right here. Oh, this is bad. Yo, old timer, something bugging you? Septimus Manners, please. 
It is so weird to be using these generic-ish character portraits suddenly. Our hunters, Quinn and Kyrus, still haven't come back from the forest yet. It has been several days. We'll go find them for you. Also, Kyrus wanted me to give you this. Amadeus handed the mysterious parcel to the chief. Thank you kindly. I'll see it to our I'll see to it our doctors get this as soon as possible so they can distribute the cure globally. The guards should let you into the forest. I'll make sure of it. You can count on this old timer. Ding it, Sipness. What did I tell you about manners? Please bring them back safely. Jade the Duelist says, Yeah, I didn't want to make busts for every NPC. Well, you didn't necessarily have to have him a character portrait. You could have just had him just regular dialogue box while these two still had their busts. Also, busts is a hard word to say. I keep wanting to say butts. Okay, so we are in the forest. We just need to find Karis, Quinn, yeah, and maybe anyone else who may be lost out here. Okay, we got grass everywhere. That means random encounters anywhere. These trees have seen better days. And so have those trees, actually. I am suddenly getting... I am tired of putting so much effort into this game vibes. You cannot go that way yet. Oh, we're being plot blocked. Oh, gods! Someone help me! Sounds like someone is in trouble. We got to help. Of course someone is. Let's get this over with. Seems I was a little wrong on the random... Oh, gosh, that's the thing. What's over this way? Nothing we can go to. Alright. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, save now. Oh, we're already almost at max level. I can't imagine there would be too much of the game left. Oh gosh, what did I do to deserve this? Oh, thank my gosh, help has arrived. Who are you, my saviors? The name's Septimus. Got it memorized? Gosh, did Rantero rub off on me? And I am Amadeus. Who are you? And what in the seven hells did you get yourself into? That dragon doesn't look happy. No, but it is patiently waiting for us to have this conversation, at least. I am Professor Brooklyn. I was just standing... Or studying the mysterious properties of this lake's water when that thing came out of the water to attack me. Don't worry yourself, Brainiac. We got this. My mind, someone is certainly on edge. Did you just call me edgy? One more time. No, I said on edge, not edgy. It is two different things. Don't mind him. We can do this. Thank Let's see. Oh, you're on our team now. You have a lot of health. All right. Ready. Uh, I wish I could get a better look at this thing. Covered up by the HUD and our characters. I can't imagine the dragon appreciates us standing on him too much. Die 
Yeah, I'm not gonna have to worry about money for the rest of the game. My, my. You two sure are strong. Gotta remember that for later. Did you expect anything less? Now, if you will excuse me, I need to be getting back to my laboratory to study these water samples more in depth. Thanks again. See you later. Once I figure out the properties of this water, my plans for that dang tower will be complete. They don't know they helped me seal the tower's fate. Amadeus's jacket in particular feels familiar. Yo, Brainiac. Lost in thoughts all alone? You spaced out there. Oh, my bad. My mind tends to wander when I am excited about my research. Adios! Well, you're evil. Well, we better get moving. Oh yeah, we still got somebody else to rescue. So Jay the Duelist says, I was working with odd-numbered wall sizes. Uh, well, with this tree pattern, it doesn't matter whether the walls would be one size or another. You're still going to have kind of a cutoff if you don't account for it. So I'm able to go this way and this way. Um, oh. This is going to be a maze. I don't want to start a maze and then quit in the middle of it and then have to try to figure out where I am in the next stream. So... I'm actually going to go ahead and end this stream here. Let's see. Uh, is there anybody that I can send a raid to? That is my question. Anybody I know streaming? The answer is no. Alright then. Well, in that case, I will simply say thank you guys for watching. I'm surprised that this was not the end of the game, but apparently there is more to the game. But in the next stream, supposedly we'll be done with the game. Apparently there is some bonus stuff to look for as well. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.